Hey everyone, it's Emily. Welcome back to The Casual Puzzler. We are continuing on with Disney Week, where every day this week I am doing a different Disney puzzle and I will leave a playlist down below so you can catch up and see the previous ones. And it's been so much fun and I have one that I am so excited for, which is a 3D Disney puzzle. Now my favorite Disney character is Tinkerbell, not necessarily in Peter Pan, but, but from the Tinkerbell movies. So I did get this 3D Tinkerbell puzzle from, it's called Original 3D Crystal Puzzles. So she is all one color aside from her wings and they had a whole bunch to choose from. They had like Mickey and Elsa and like all the different characters and they range in price I think they originally cost $18.99, but you can often find some on sale on the Puzzle Warehouse website, which is where I got mine. I think she was $13.99. I think right now when I was, I'm was i filming this, the Mickey one is like $10, and then the more popular characters are around the $20 range. So piece count, I think, varies, and I am so excited to do this one. So I want to do this one and then put it in my office at work, because I do have like a Disney-themed office and I think it'd be really fun. Anyways, let's just break this open. I think they're plastic pieces, but we'll just get started. Here is the box. I know it's quite glary. You can see there's like a little window to see the pieces. So you can see she's see-through. She's all green aside from her wings and I'll just show you the sides and then again the back has the variety of different characters that they carry and the brand is called Be Puzzled. So let's just open her up. Oh my gosh. So inside the box is this little flyer. They have so many different characters, not just Disney, like they have a bunch of animals, just like different objects. And then on the back, we have a whole bunch of Disney ones. Oh, there's a Snoopy one. That's cute. Um, I really like this windmill for some reason. Anyways, super cute lots of different options i feel like this would be a good gift idea but let's actually hold off on that thought until i actually do the puzzle um another thing that's in here it has the piece count it's kind of confusing it has step numbers here and then it has like different piece oh it's the piece number oh okay so you can have like a little cheat sheet on like step-by-step -step instructions on how to build her it says hints oh there's hints and such i kind of want to leave it be for a second and see if i what i can do on my own so that's cool that they have instructions in case you're completely lost um, but let's look at the pieces so we have three different oh, four different bags um three of them are the green pieces here and then we have some more we have like this giant pole right here oh i might need the instructions um, yeah, they're just di really different piece shapes. And then in this bag, we have her wings and then the thing she sits on, I'm guessing. I didn't realize she had a seat. Um, so let's see what we can do with this. So I just opened up one of these bags and if you can see, I think you can, that they are numbered. So that was number five. This one is number 30. And this is much more construction than puzzle to me. Um, there's very few actual like puzzle pieces. Like this one's a puzzle, which interesting. And then it looks like, was there two pieces together? I don't know. Um, but this definitely looks a little bit more intricate than I was expecting. I was thinking of it looking like puzzle pieces and it really just looks like, I don't know. I mean, I guess it is a puzzle. It's just not like a jigsaw puzzle, which is what I was thinking of. Um, but then again, hopefully you can see it better with my phone. It does have step-by-step -step instructions. Is that cheating? It also has hints over here and tips. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I want to do yet.
so far I have the head done and this is way trickier than what I was expecting because these pieces really don't stay together at all um, so you have to like hold it while you're building it and like make sure not to move things around so it's definitely tricky I will admit I am following the instructions, but even that's tricky because I may know the piece, but I'm not sure how it's supposed to go. Um, but I did notice a little bit of a pattern with the head because you could see that things like went on top of each other. She looks cute so far. I'm hoping at the end it like stays together really well because it's supposed to be on the stand. Um, but I'm going to continue on. I'm probably like a quarter of the way done. I mean, at least I have ahead so let's just keep going Isn't she adorable? Um, I have a lot of thoughts and opinions. Let's go through that. But I do love the end result. And even though it was a pain in the butt, definitely would buy more. Anyways, let's go into my thoughts. Let's go into all my thoughts and opinions on this puzzle. So way harder than I was expecting because the pieces don't interlock and stay together. You have to hold on to it while you're building it. So there was no way for me to like do little pieces and then go to little pieces. I quickly realized that I needed to actually follow the instructions because if you don't, you're just gonna be there forever. So I did end up using the instructions, but even that made it a little bit tricky because they are clear pieces and there's multiple dimensions to them. So you do have to kind of finagle your way around the piece to actually make it fit while holding the rest of the puzzle together. So she really didn't get that secure until the final segment where Dave held her body together while I re had to rebuild her head to stick in her final pole. And the pole is the thing that like kind of clicks at the end and everything can stay together pretty well. Like she's super secure now, but during the whole entire process, she's just a fragile mess. I often would have pieces fall off or her arms were a big ordeal because you have to like hold her arms steady while putting the next piece on and then you have to, to like put in the wings like very delicately and then her arms fell out in the middle and you're like having to rebuild her. So it was a little frustrating because she was so delicate to work with and having two people may be better because I did have to give I did have to bring in Dave, my husband, to hold her together in a few areas while I like built around her and 
it was it was tricky i will admit and even though i used the instructions it was still a little bit puzzling trying to get the pieces to fit correctly and get it to stay correctly and now that it's all said and done i absolutely love it so she came out so good i'm so happy with the end result I will put her in my office and I could see me getting more of these like this is such a good stocking stuffer idea if you have a puzzle lover in your life or you just want like a little gift for them so it was fun a little frustrating a little fun kind of both <laughs> um, but I would get more from them and I do recommend them it's definitely different than traditional jigsaw puzzles I do recommend going with the instructions because you do have to build her in order to because you do have to build her in order and you have to keep it all together while you're building on top so i think doing doing it without instructions would have been really really tricky um but that's it from me i hope you enjoyed this video if you've been loving these disney videos please give this video a thumbs up make sure to check out the other ones in the series and i will see you guys next time bye guys